everyone, welcome back and of course if you're new here, welcome. My name is Iani and of course this is Diane. We are doing together this DIY channel. If you like this content, of course, because I want to keep it short, if you like this content, click the red subscribe button and of course if you want to see more DIYs, come on over to our description box. There you find all the links for our YouTube channels with lots and lots of DIYs to see. For today, of course, we are going to make two new Tumblr towel blocks inspiration DIY. So if you like this, get out your Tumblr towel blocks, get out your glue gun and join us. And if you only want to watch, have fun watching. For this DIY, we need, of course, our Tumblr towel blocks, uh, our glue gun, of course, some glue sticks, some wood glue, uh, maybe some Mod Podge, I don't know for sure, some brushes, some scissors. And of course, I did forgot to put on my table our furniture wax of paint at your choice. What we're going to make for today's DIY is we're going to make a dresser with some drawers inside, but of course uh, a little bit with a twist like always. We are going to uh, start with the uh, outside with the dresser part and we are going to do that with some wood glue because we want to make that it is very sturdy. So I'm going to take like this uh, Five blocks of five, I have to say it right, five blocks are we going to do some wood glue and a little line over here, this is one, number two, number three, number four, and this is all we need and we're just going to close them up this way and this way and this one. Oh, of course we have to go. Well, <laughs> we have to do it this way. Now we are really <laughs> closing it up with some wood glue this way. And we're going to let this one dry. We take another one of five. You see already my box is already falling off my table. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So this again, we do the same routine. One and number two, number three, and number four and again we're going to place them against each other and this way so and just squeeze it and let them dry for at least uh, one and a half hour i know this takes a little bit more of your time but you will be very happy when your dress is not falling apart but sometimes with glue from your glue gun sometimes a piece is fall apart very easily so we are going to do this with some wood glue and i'm going to let this dry for one and a half hour our bottom is almost dried up what i'm going to do and do one piece on the side i'm going to do some glue on a little bit in the middle like here this way and the top over here and i'm going to place it down again like this and just Squeeze it against each other so we have a nice closed uh, bottom. This is very easy, just two pieces of five glued together with some wood glue. And I'm going to, this is the bottom, I need a top and I need two pieces uh, in between. So we are going to make four of these uh, pieces with the bottom included. So I'm going to do that first because this needs some dry time.
on the side of me our uh, bottom top and our two uh, in between are drying what we're going to do we are going to build the dresses stages because we need three stages for our drawers so we need two of five and one of four and this is one stage of our drawer and we're going to make three drawers so we need three pieces of uh, this is uh, two for this one and of course two for the other one and two for the other one so we need six pieces of five to make it very easy i hear myself talking and i'm <laughs> i make it unless a complicated for you you just need <laughs> you just need six pieces of five and three pieces of four four so that's very easy why do, didn't i tell you that in the first place so very easy again i just do a one together with you and the other one of course we do a little bit faster again just like we did with the bottom the top and the in between just do some glue on the side and on this side it's very easy because you can glue it very easily together the only uh, bad thing about wood glue is that it needs so much time just to uh, dry and but if it is dried it is so steady so that's why we do the dresser with the wood glue and this way and now we just do with the same like we did with the bottom just place them together and make a one straight nice line this way and we're going to do this and this one on the top of each other of not on top of each other but next to each other this is a better word i'm so sorry for everyone who uh, really doesn't um like uh, my mistakes or something else just uh, i'm really sorry this maybe this content is not for everyone because i am like a lot of you already know i am dutch and my language is not english and i know a lot of you are really uh, bothered that my english is not the greatest so and that they don't hear me very well i'm really am sorry i'm doing my best to do everything as perfect as I can and explain it to you as perfect as, perfect as I can, but uh, I cannot make everyone happy. So um, if you are bothered with me, uh, maybe this content is not for you. So I'm really, I'm sorry to say it, but maybe, um, yeah, sometimes I do my best and I cannot do more than, uh, than that. So for everyone who really enjoys to see how I make it, I hope you understand me really well really well but the most of you are so kind to uh, to diana me so i am really happy with you as all my friends so i'm going to let this dry for a couple of uh, at least uh, i think a 10 15 minutes and then i'm going to do some glue in between and i'm going to glue it and then we let it dry for one and a half hour Our pieces are dried up. What we're going to do, we're going to make three U's. At least, I mean, like this, if you, this way, very easy, like this. I'm going to place this one aside, this one aside, the five and the five, and we place the four. We do on each side of the four blocker, we are going to do some glue. So on this side, and on the other side, some glue, this way. And what we're going to do we're going to place it in here on the end and we're going to place this one against it and this one on this side and make sure that we have them both in a straight line like a u if i am correctly it's almost a square but not totally so and i let this dry and i'm going to do with this one the same place it on the side place this one on the side do some glue on the four block again over here and on this side because the four block needs to be in between and again place it over here and place this one against each other make sure that you have a nice u like this and i'm going to do the last one also this way this one over here and again on this one the same very easy and 
on this one. This is everything we need to do. We place it in here against each other and place this one over here like this. And now we let it dry for one and a half hour again. Our pieces are dried up. You see already one of the pieces and uh, one of our um, um, bottom. So we have three of them. We are going to lay this like this, the blocks over this way. And I'm going to do some glue. Of course, I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to do some glue on this side. And I'm going to go totally around. And I'm going to place this one on the back side of this block and try to get it as even in the middle as you can. And I'm going to get a straight line and this way and then I'm going to squeeze it down and let this dry also. And this is what you get. You see? And this side. And now we get nice little sides over here. So I love always that it's sticking over uh, a little piece. So I'm going to do the rest and then we're going to build further. I have all my three pieces, which we are going to later do some a little draw inside. What I'm going to do, this is the bottom because one little piece of my block is missing out. I don't know how it is. Uh, they always come sometimes in a package and there's a one piece of the block is gone. I don't know. Why they do that and just don't uh, do some uh, better uh, yeah, control it, but I don't know, but I didn't see it and now I'm seeing that he is missing a little piece of his block, so I have to work with it. I'm going to do this one and I'm going to place this on top and I have to be sure that I have it in a straight line and place it on top of each other this way. And make sure that you have it almost uh, on top of each other and in like this. I can show to you. I turn it over like this. And I'm going to do now some glue on this. Place this one on top and do this one also on top. And then we do a paint can on top of it to give it some pressure. So our dresser is drying. What we're going to do, we are going to make our own drawer and we are going to start with the bottom. We take blocks of three and I have to be sure that I have the same size and I'm going to do some glue and place it together. This is one and the last one already for our bottom is a number three. So it's so easy to make just a piece of three. We are going to make another piece of three for our sides, like this. And the last already from this one. And this is also already finished. And now the, the other side is also three. And then we go further with the other sides. And they are also not three, but only four. So again, like this. And I hope that my blocks stay the same size because like a lot of you also have struggling with the sizes of our blocks. The one time they are bigger, the other time they are smaller. You never know when you get your package. And this way this is number four. And the last of number four. This feels very small and this is two and number three and the last one number four so we, if everything is correct and you're doing this DIY also you have two pieces of four and three pieces of three what we're going to do we get place our bottom we get one block and we do some glue on the underside over here and we are going to place it against here, 
make sure that you have it in a straight line this way and I have to get it a little moved and now you have such an angle like this this is the bottom and now we get our piece of four and we are going to do some glue on the side and on the underside and we're going to place it against here squeeze it and press it down like this and what we're going to do we can to take now this one and we are going to do some glue over here and some glue on this side so on here and on here i have to think myself because i want to be sure that i have it on the right space and see already i do it on the wrong space i do it already on the other side so <laughs> you see i am also making mistakes like everyone else so and place them against each other squeeze it and press it down like this and keep it in place for a couple of seconds and then i'm going to remove my glue because i glued myself totally under <laughs> you see already i have here all this glue <laughs> but don't worry give yourself some grace everyone makes mistakes i make them day in day out with every diy i do so again we already have this part and now we're going to place the 104 and it's very easy because we are going to glue this against each other so it's very easy we just do some glue over here on this line we're going to do it on this line and on this line and now we only need to place this side on top of here and just squeeze it and press it down and now we already have one of our drawers and you see he is sticking over a little bit and i like that because i like a little bit of a uh, different structure so don't worry about it if you don't like it then you have to make them a little bit different but i am really happy with this one so i'm going to make the rest you see here the drawers are finished all three of them what i'm going to do before i'm going to give them a knob i'm going to paint this front side only this front side in the black schoolboy paint but you can choose any color you like maybe you want the total dresser in the white color or maybe in another olive green or something else which fitting for your decor go ahead just paint it uh, i'm going to do the rest in some furniture wax but i'm going to do this middle pieces i'm going to do with some uh, black schoolboy paint so i always love my black schoolboy paint but of course like i said you don't have to do it and i'm going to and you see already how much it changed up and then if i have done the front i am going to do some block and i'm going to give it a knot
So now I take my wood glue and I'm going to give some wood glue on the other side because I want to make sure again that he is really steady under my little drawer because it's sometimes in the kitchen and somewhere else it gets a lot of uh, things that you do in. You don't want that the other pieces are falling off. So we're going to turn it over like this and we're going to place this exactly in the middle. I have to look that I have it in the middle. So of course I still need to go in the front and this way. I think I have it in the middle. Now I'm going to place a, a paint can on top of here and let it dry it again for one half hour. But I'm always already going to start with uh, doing this in some painting. Of course I was saying painting but I've, I mean the furniture wax. So I'm going to use the antique color, a little bit of the darker uh, color. You see already he's very dark. But I like the rustic uh, look on it. And I also go over the black scoreboard paint with my wax to give it also a nice, um, yeah, it gets even a little darker, the scoreboard paint. So that's why I go over it also. So I will finish this off. Everything is in the furniture bags and I let it dry and then I wipe it off with some piece of kitchen towel and in a moment you see the end reveal. And here you see finally a quick impression of our tumbler towel blocks, a little cute dresser. Of course, I only decorated the last drawer because I think it's your imagination how you want to decorate it. You can do also some Christmas greenery or some fall greenery. You can do it for any season. So I hope you give this a one a try and if you did already, you have right now also a little cute dresser for in your own home if you like this content and you're not subscribed to the end of my channel of course i hope you click the red subscribe button and give us a thumbs up it doesn't cost you anything and it would help our channel a lot thank you so much and of course if you want to see more diys come on over to our description box there you find the link for this channel and of course my channel all about christmas with lots and lots of tumblr towel blocks ideas so go check it out for now i wish you all an amazing day see you next time bye